the pop art paintings of Andy Warhol. He was inspired by everyday objects found in the supermarket. We took our inspiration from a collection of North Reading food pantry to create observational drawings of our favorite items. Second graders studied the folk art landscape paintings of Grandma Moses. She created depth in her paintings by making objects in the foreground large and objects in the background small. We noticed that she liked to paint her favorite seasonal memories, so we created miniatures of winter scenes. Alexander Calder. First graders studied the scriptures of Alexander Calder. He liked using primary colors in his mobiles and stables. We created these sculptures using red, yellow, and blue materials.
So uh, I, I told the board uh, we're meeting next Monday to make a firm decision. But generally we're in agreement to uh, the 27th day, which on April 6th would adjourn the meeting with date certain. And that date would be uh, May 15th. Would you give us another almost three weeks to uh, hopefully get better information as to what money might be available for our FY2010 budget. So this is the intent to formalize it And just like what we'll need to have a quorum that night, correct? On May 15th night or May 27th to continue to be correct? Right. On the 27th or Obviously, we're all going to be up. We're going to be up against the two, not knowing about the stimulus money. Well, so as you're aware, we have a financial planning team meeting on Wednesday, right. and I think that I, I put that on the agenda okay. just to try to determine what the, the calendar should be based on the change of dates. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? May fifteenth. That's probably. I'm sorry. The eighth, the fourteenth, the eighth, Monday, the eighth. Monday, the eighth. Monday, the eighth. Services of 
of an expert in the field in, in civil engineering until such time as the, the school committee and, and Parks and Rec ultimately agree to transfer the property over. Once that takes place, then we can indeed move forward and, and contract with, with an expert. However, because there is such a thirst for information regarding this project, and it, it does appear to be moving quite, uh, quite swiftly, uh, we have a gentleman from Gale Associates who has very nicely agreed to make a presentation on our behalf this evening. Uh, he has worked closely with us, however, he's not under contract just yet. We uh, hopefully will be moving, certainly in his eyes, hopefully moving in that direction. But he's, uh, he's been terrific so far. We appreciate his help. And I wanted to give you a little background on, uh, on Bill Seymour. Uh, Bill is the director of uh, civil engineering for Gale Associates. He's a, a graduate uh, from West Point with a degree in civil engineering. Uh, he was professionally licensed in 1980, so he's been in the business for over 30 years. He's got two advanced degrees in civil engineering and served for 23 years in the Army Corps of Engineers. Uh, he's been with Gale now for 11 years and, and has been involved in the design uh, of 200 separate athletic uh, and recreation facilities here in this area. Uh, some of you in the audience uh, may have seen some of uh, Bill's presentation last week. Uh, we made a few amend amendments to it, and uh, toward the end of it, we'll be able to talk in more detail around the, uh, the cost and the actual budget for the project. So I know that that's certainly something of interest to uh, many members of, uh, of the audience. So Bill? Thanks. Thank you, Tom. Uh, again, I'm Bill Seymour. I'm with Gale Associates. and. Uh, we're athletic facilities planners, designers, permitters, and construction administrators. And obviously, we'd be pleased to be involved with your very exciting project. But that being said, my role tonight is to really be a resource for you and to answer any questions that you might have about projects of this nature. We're going to show you some images tonight of some things that might be accomplished uh, at the high school field. But none of them are design documents. They're images. They're cartoons, if you will. Uh, and we look forward to the opportunity to design your facility in some detail. Slide, please. Very quickly, Tom jumped over the agenda, but what we're going to do is make some opening comments, which he has done, a quick presentation by us, and hopefully it will be an interactive one where we can answer some of your questions. Uh, Tom's going to define what we believe is the phase one of the project. Uh, we've made some important decisions with regard to that. Uh, and then take the rest of your questions, but hopefully there will be some before that slide. Please. <coughs> Just a little bit of credibility building. Tom was very kind in his introduction, but uh, what we do is athletic facilities planning and design. Just some representative examples of, of public facilities, some private, that we've been involved with uh, throughout New England over the last 10 years.